Welcome to my Louise Belcher cosplay tutorial. I love Bob's Burgers. This cosplay is simple, comfortable, and it makes me feel so cute. Start off with a pair of brown lenses. Then prime your face. Apply a medium or full coverage foundation with a matte finish. You can double up or use concealer over areas where more coverage is needed. Use any leftover product to prime your eyelids. Then set everything in place with a pressed powder. Lightly contour your nose. To add some color to the look, apply a bright pink blush that matches the color of your hat to the apples of your cheeks, then blend it out. Use any leftover product on your powder brush to help with the blending. Comb your brows into place. Then fill them in with a matte black eyeshadow. Clean up the shape with foundation or concealer on a flat brush. Then use a black mascara or brow gel to set the brows and add definition. Apply a matte taupe eyeshadow to your crease and down your lower lash line, then blend it out. Blend a light brown eyeshadow on top to deepen the crease and lower lash line ever so slightly. Tightline with a black eyeliner. Then use a white eyeliner to brighten up the waterline. Then apply black mascara to your top and bottom lashes. I also added a pair of false lashes, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below. Apply a bright pink lip tint that matches the color of your hat and blush to the inner rim of your mouth. Then carefully blend it out with your finger. Add a little shine with a pink lip gloss. Then finish with a setting spray. Any short or medium length black wig with no bangs will work. Comb through the hair. Divide into two sections. Then secure each pigtail with a thick yellow hair tie. Put on the hat and use the wires inside to adjust the bunny ears. Start with a white t-shirt dress. Since this is 95% rayon and 5% spandex, I used Rit Dye's liquid dye in apple green. Pre-wash the dress with detergent to remove any factory finish that may interfere with the process. Then dampen the dress with water to allow for an even dye job. For stovetop dyeing, I filled a large pot with one and a half gallons of water, then set it on medium heat. To help the fabric absorb the dye, I added one cup of salt. I poured in about one third of the bottle of dye, then stirred everything together. I also recommend wearing gloves. Carefully lower the dampened dress into the pot, then stir continuously for 30 minutes, keeping the fabric completely submerged in the dye bath. Rinse the dress thoroughly under cold water until the water runs clear. Put it in the dryer and you're done! For the shoes, choose Mary Jane styled flats. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cosplay tutorials. Until next time, please take care and stay well.